Hi friends, hope you are doing well and spending some quality time for your studies. Today we will discuss a question related to Zika virus. Maybe some of you have an idea about Zika virus. We will read the question then we will come to the top points. A pregnant client in the first trimester tells the clinic nurse she will be traveling to an area with a known Zika virus outbreak and expresses concern regarding disease transmission. Which statement by the nurse is most appropriate? So the pregnant client, she, she is now in the first trimester and she tells the clinic nurse, I have planned to travel to the an area but that area now have an outbreak of Zika virus and she is concerning whether it will transmit, is there any problem? So what is the education or what is the instruction the nurse should give the client regarding this disease transmission or regarding this virus option one says if you experience sicka symptoms notify your healthcare provider option two take precautions against mosquitoes bites throughout the trip option three you are not far enough along for the sicka virus to affect your baby Option 4, you should consider postponing your trip until you have the baby. So what do you think? Now we will study some points related to Zika virus. What is that? It is a virus that is transmitted by mosquitoes or sexual contact and infected bodily fluids. So what are some of the uh, cause or the viral symptoms that we will see? like low grade fever, arthralgia and it will affect if the mother is uh, infected with the Zika virus there is a chance of microcephaly that will develop in the newborn and the developmental dysfunction then encephalitis in baby if the mother is infected with the Zika virus so this is not something good to expose if the mother is pregnant even if any stage of pregnancy then women who are attempting to conceive and those who are already pregnant encourage to avoid travel areas where it is outbreak of Zika virus until what time until she will deliver the baby because if she will expose to Zika virus in any way it might be uh, mosquito bite it might be maybe sexual contact it might be maybe some of the bodily fluids so if she will expose to Zika virus during that pregnancy or she is planning to become pregnant that will affect, that will create some problem in the newborn. So better to avoid or better to postpone the trip until the until she will deliver the baby because it will affect any stages of labor, any stages of pregnancy. Then for clients currently living in Sika affected area, proper mosquito repellent like mosquito precautions that will using of insect repellent then uh, safe sex practice using some barrier methods and should be utilized and routine sicka testing may be provided see now we studied that if the mother she is a plan uh, have a plan to move to that area where sicka virus she she can postpone until the delivery of the baby but some woman who is pregnant already in the area what she what what we will do or what is the uh, instruction that we can give to those women the thing they should use some uh, safe sex practice and they should avoid exposure to bodily fluids and they should uh, use some insect repellent because mosquito bite is also a problem that will create transmission then they will be uh, routine sicka uh, testing also will be provided so our answer will be here option 4 because option 4 said you should consider postponing your trip until you have the baby because this Zika virus infection can affect in any stage of pregnancy and once it will affect the mother it will create more severe problem or complications in the newborn avoiding all those consequences it should, the mother should avoid traveling that area or the mother already there in those areas they should take the precautions and should undergo routine Zika testing now we'll see why other options we ignore if the option one uh, it says that it's okay half it is correct but the another it is not giving some education to mother uh, why she should avoid or when she can travel so that is not the that's why we eliminate that option the option two says 
like the mother she can uh, take precautions against mosquito bite but here we studied that not only by mosquito bite it can be exposure to uh, body fluids or by uh, sexual contact it can be transmitted so that is not the uh, proper guideline but is mentioned in the option 2 that's why we eliminate option 2 then option 3 uh, three says Zika virus can affect in womb they said the woman she you are not affected uh, so long and uh, for the Zika virus to affect your baby it is not like uh, how um, how many months she is pregnant or how long she affected in any stage of pregnancy it will affect the mother and if the affected mother will create some problem in the newborns also in the fetus also it will affect that's why if in any stage also she is not uh, it is not good to travel to those areas so our answer to this question is option 4 I hope it's clear and there might be some of you it's a new topic and maybe you don't have a clear idea I hope uh, it is uh, clear to you right now uh, please review if you have any difficulty with uh, any particular areas of your exams please mention we will discuss those topics on the uh, next days so bye for now and uh, I wish all the best to all of you.